Hey guys, it's Ray. Alright, so just posted the video about me reassembling the frame. The frame's back in here. Um, what we're going to do today, yesterday, I got the film. So we're going to start actually de cleaning and degreasing. I'm going to use simple green to clean and degrease the slide. Um, I don't have any brake cleaner or any kind of degreaser like that. So simple green does it. It's perfectly fine. Um, and then we're going to prime it with white primer. Um, this is the print. And did I keep it? Yes. I did two test boards to see which one would look better and also asked my buddy which one he thought would be better. And they agreed that they liked the white. So this is what it's going to look like tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but when I dip it. Might be tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So that was a little sacrificial piece I used. So we're going to get to business spraying this. Making sure I have it on the right ones. Go ahead and give it a good scrubbing. Got my wife behind the camera again today. So you guys don't have to see me working at some weird angles. So... Still trying to figure out how tomorrow I'm going to um, record doing the dip. So I'm more than likely to be doing it tomorrow. Um, because the wife will be making me a birthday meal because tomorrow is my 34th birthday. Wow, I'm putting the brush upside down. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. So, yeah, tomorrow's my 34th birthday. The wife is going to make me her family's Puerto Rican recipe of rice and beans. My wife is, uh, what babe, 12% Puerto Rican, but her uh, grandfather or great-grandfather was 100%. I can't remember exactly how it factors out. Grandfather. Um, your grandfather? Yeah. Yeah, so her grandfather was 100% Puerto Rican, straight from the island. And this recipe was actually handed down to her family. You know, through her family, rather. Um, her rice and beans are not like the most typical rice and beans you see on a lot of plates nowadays. The yellow rice and the gondolas and the, uh, you know, all the other things. It's not that. This stuff has gondolas. That's just my request, though, because I like gondolas. Um, this actually is kind of like a bean sauce made with different beans, olives, um, chicken, pork, uh, sometimes beef, just depending. Um, help me out here, babe. What's your recipe? Then we do, uh, potatoes, cilantro, achote, uh, sofrito, and sazon. She, she literally cooks this stuff all day. And it goes over a bed of jasmine rice. Y'all keep saying how I'm supposed to be losing weight. Not happening. No, it's just not happening. Y'all, I just saved y'all people from being thrown at me. What there was, was an that? Itty bitty spider. Oh, babe. Dangling down from the ceiling about to land on my wife's hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> my wife hates spiders. <laughs> I thought it was a fly. Oh, my God. It was an itty bitty one, baby. It was. Yeah. There's no more, it. right? I know I killed it. There's probably tons, but I mean, but, they're I mean, small it's... and they're hiding. That one just decided they wanted to come and say hi, Mrs. Muffet. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Hi. Little Miss Muffet sat on top of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating her curds and whey. Shut up. Curds and whey. It's, it's like a little fucking, I don't know, it's like an oatmeal or something I heard. <laughs> anyway, so, after you scrub this off, 
Obviously you wanna dry it off too. Probably need to rinse it. Go ahead and rinse it. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting through here. There's a horse. I tell oh, the horse out. to move. I'll just stand back here. Let's get it dried off. I know there's gonna be all the small areas I can't get into, and I got my trusty can of air. I don't know if y'all can hear the background noises that occurs down here in the basement. If you heard that water rush, that was because someone upstairs flushed the toilet. That was one of the other, other video guys that I mentioned that got corrupted. Um, I actually cleaned everything. Um, I tried to use the modern Spartan Systems uh, stuff, but I mean, it got cleaner than it used to look. So... I did learn the hard way that this stuff loses pressure, depressurizes after a while. You do gotta get a little bit to do it. I don't have an air compressor, obviously. And I also learned the hard way you're not supposed to shake the can. I had a whole can frost over on me the other day. That needs to be pressurized there. like now guys nice and shiny I will have to repaint the safety and fire dots when I get done doing all this and like I told you guys in the one video <laughs> the sights I had during cleaning I don't know why I didn't think about this I had put all of the small parts into this one or no this one Full of the concentrated simple clean, simple green. Wow, well, yeah. Left it there for a few hours. Went and got the wife and all that stuff, and came back. And the sights and certain small parts, I'm assuming, were powder coated black. And yeah, they're not black anymore. They're about the color of this brush handle. So I gotta get back to being black. And the only thing I can think of possibly doing is parkerizing. I don't know how to powder coat. I just don't. So 
I guess we'll figure it out. Anyway, so this is clean. It is dry for the most part. So I decided to try something different because I don't want to get paint, obviously, in these certain areas that don't need paint. Okay. I'll still need to use tape like in this little part here where the site goes. Um, I'm going to want to use some tape. And where the front site goes, I'll probably want to use some tape. Um, but trying to tape off all the inside sections is going to be a pan in the rear. So the wife and I went earlier, bought some popsicle sticks and some non drying molding clay. What I'm going to do is shove this stuff straight into it. I probably don't want to use white because I'm going to be using white paint. So I'll use black. This way to see where it's going. And what I'm wanting to do is just shove it into all its little orifices and all that stuff and just get it where it blocks all those areas. I don't want any primer or paint to go. I don't want any hydrographics to go. So this stuff is essentially going to stay in there. So, let's break off a piece. Let's fold up. This way it'll go in where the barrel's going to be at. And I know I'll be picking this shit out of there and everything else after you know, I'm done drying it and done with the painting and blah 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 but at the same time it is a whole lot better than just fucking taping everything off see what I can do is shape it all straight to where I want it to be blocked and everything else I don't want it to ride up this one area so do that get my picks out here files way. get all my picks out here I can get this stuff moved around and everything else and really do a bang up job on this Literally, just get work it into all the areas you don't want it to uh, be painted. That's my idea here. So literally, I'm just pushing it onto the small spots. I'm not gonna push it into the breach face because of the fact the breach face is already blocked now. So, but I'm gonna work it. onto here into like these little small crevices and just get it into the areas I just don't want to put paint and stuff it's easier than taping to me because I'll be sitting here trying to tape all this stuff and then the tape doesn't want to cooperate go my way You guys will hear some really colorful words come out of my mouth. Of course, that might make for a very funny video. Nah, I've already done that.
I actually kind of want it to go up on that little ridge there in the back. I don't want to see that much silver there, but at the same time, I kind of want it to, you know, get in there and Don't want it to be that intrusive either. Just want it to be right there, right where it needs to be. I forgot I got a possible six foot reason. I need a straight edge. I forgot. Remember, that was my idea. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that was your idea. Now your idea is making a mess on my bench. Good job. <laughs> I do that all on my own, but uh, of course. What's wrong? It's not fitting. A little too wide. Have this oh because I turned it upside down. That's why. Yeah, you'll have to go over it over and over again probably to get it just right, just where you want it. You're trying to get a view, baby, but I got a C2. <laughs> hmm, I'm just downstairs talking to Ray Ray, keeping him company, I guess. Mm, that's good. Yeah, our one son, Ray Ray, my son, my junior. <laughs> he uh, he's not feeling well today. His sister is finally coming downstairs to spend a little time with him, keep him company. Set up a tape over this, so I probably won't have to worry about it there, but I will have to get in here. And of course, the front. Of course, there's grease and everything all over this, so I will actually hit it just a little bit of simple green. Get all that off, you know. Uh -huh. I called it Play-Doh. I knew it was going to do that. Got to know where the uh, safety indicator is. Oh, 
Oh, excuse me, guys. Ew. Oh, don't you bring that. <laughs> Does that stuff have a scent to it? A little bit. Yeah, I can smell it. It's like a perfume or something. Oh, no, that was, um, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh-huh. i kick your butt. My love, why is your hands going around my throat? Baby, don't do that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, crap. So <laughs> <laughs> you've got a lot of this stuff in the areas I don't want it to be in. So while this is a good idea, guys, maybe it isn't as time-saving as the other one of just taping up, but at the same time, I don't know, just might be an idea to try. Let's see what it does. And if it doesn't work, all I gotta do is clear all this out, clean it off, strip it all back down and do it again. This time I tape it off. that part okay I know I just cleaned it all out I was trying to just get that part to lay flat so they don't spiked up okay now to get more in here. It sounds like he came back to life now that his sister is talking to him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds like a really good idea, though. It does. Hopefully, it pans out and doesn't bite me in the aft end. Yeah. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Hmm. It 
does look like I used a whole block. You did? Wow. Okay. Wow, guys, look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and clean it up just a little bit with a little bit of the simple green. Just spray it on the towel really quick. And so what that's... Try not to hit the clay too much. That clay has grease on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't know. They naturally have, like, a grease in them. That's what oh. helps them uh, mold. Okay. Ooh, but I'm trying not to hit the grease and drag it with me. Let's see if I can just do it this way. Where I sprayed this, so. What about Q-tips? Yeah, they'll take too long. It'll, it would work if it was Pieces a small. Pieces of cotton? Cotton balls? No, no, because it'll leave stuff along. Mm. It'll leave pieces of cotton. Good idea, though, but no, can't do that. Okay, trying to help you think. Next starting to hurt. I think they want to see the gun. <laughs> they want to see your pretty face. Guys, help me. Please, <laughs> please. If you have a wife... She's your camera person. And she loves you so much. Reconsider. Hey. What? Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. Me. It wasn't me. I can't per wait, crap, it's on camera. <laughs> so me. I didn't say it. <laughs> oh crap. What's wrong? I forgot to do that part. Oh. That part's gotta be covered. This is gonna take tape. Okay. This doesn't take tape. Uh oh. Well, you get out another inky and stuff brown. No, um, here, I'll just take a chunk off of here. Cause it's not gonna take much. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Okay. The only problem is I did just clean that area, I think. <clears throat> so it's gonna take just a little bit. Of course, I forgot about that hole. What about that little bit of a hangover right there? This? No, this. Don't you guys oh, scrape this. that off? Oh, yes and no. I'll be putting tape there. Oh but yeah, I am gonna actually just, scrape that off. Yeah, just get rid of that spot. Not too much though, because there is a hole there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just gotta get whatever's left. Well, okay. Actually, I might be able to shove it all in there. Okay. That's what he said. <laughs> what? I did that last video too. <laughs> I think I did last week. It might be one of my uh, edits that I wasn't able to do. I had a couple times where I had to stop the video and start over. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of that's what she said. Okay. All right. So back to wiping off the excess and pushing. Those picks remind me of those like dentist picks. Yeah, they they do resemble that. Mm. 
kind of creepy. Got to wait at the dentist. Open up and say ah. <laughs> no. I'll kick you. They might actually like that, so let's not do it, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. You're lucky I'm wearing my camel slippers. Baby, this is a gun channel, not a slipper channel fashion channel. Jeez Louise, I swear. <laughs> Y'all. I go through this every day. <laughs> Whether I'm at home or even at work. Because we work at the same spot. Yay. What? 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 <laughs> Nothing. I was talking to them. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So, I think we're ready to begin. Where's that hook? Hook. Where's the hook? Oh, I kind of covered the hole for my hook, too. Bump to the bump. It worked out perfectly. Not really, but I totally forgot. But obviously, we have a hook to hold this while we spray it. Although, actually, here we go. Genius! Genius, right here. I don't need a hook because I'm not painting the bottom. And how I'm going to use this as a base. So, no, we're not painting over here. Okay. I will get it everywhere. But it was me. Center. It's an old sink. I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Of course. Scuff cap. Scuff metal and of course it's metal. I gotta use a tack cloth. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, camera actually ran out, or the phone ran out of memory. Uh, so we had to take a break. We had to prep the, the uh, parts for the rice and beans tomorrow. Uh, wife and I so I sit there for a little bit. We're back down here, and I was in the middle of scuffing up the metal. Uh, unfortunately, my hands, I'm not going to be able to get gloves back on because, well, once I get them off, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I still need a tack cloth. So I got to get that too. I'm not supposed to touch this after. Greasing it. Oh, I need to tape this off too. Shit. Duh. Man, I'm having a wonderful day. Alright, let me go get tack cloth and um, tape. You know what I'm talking about? Tack cloth, tack cloth. I'm back. There I am. Alright, so tape. Because I'm an absolute genius. See, I could have put some of the uh, clay here but yeah although I probably should have put some right there actually
this tape on here to where it covers those extra holes for the uh, action pieces. So there's that. Now I get this open. This is about to get sticky. Really should be wearing gloves, but I'm not getting gloves back on. Tack cloth does, if everyone's wondering, is it'll help the primer adhere to the uh, metal. Gotta save your uh, tack cloth. I'll end up transferring this to a. Uh, you know, I'll transfer it to a Ziploc bag as soon as I get them all. All right, here we go. Babe, did you want a mask while I did this, or are you gonna be gonna be good? I'll be okay. All right, here we go. Where's your apron? No, I'm on my hands. Oh. My hands are... Alright, so that first coat we're going to let set. Ew, there it is. Knew it. White thumbprint stamp of approval. <laughs> Come here, babe. No. Right on the forehead. <laughs> Oh, so we just let that sit for about five minutes. It'll dry enough for me to put a second layer on there. And um, I just do that a couple times until it's solid white. A um, little bit of it's still sitting out. That's okay for the first layer. It's fine. It prevents any kind of runs. Um, once it's done, I'll go ahead and hit it again. And then... Maybe a third coat, maybe, depending on how the second coat goes. After that, I let it sit, dry overnight, and then we do the dip tomorrow. All right. Um, I will show you guys the second coat. We're going to sign off really quick. And the next time you see us, we'll be doing the second coat. Okay? So it should be five or ten minutes from now. All right. See you in a minute. All right, guys. We're back. Uh, real quick, and this is probably going to be the last coat, more than likely, because this is looking pretty good. So, let's go ahead and tilt it to the side, actually, so we can get the bottom of this more. Okay. Actually, I also did forget the bottom of that. And as much as it sucks, my hand's going to be white. But, I do better turn this. Just touch the clay pieces.
believe that's going to be it. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, that's going to be it for the um, primer coat. It'll dry to a nice white color. You can see. Okay, all the way around. And then tomorrow. Yeah, I got paint on me a little bit. I'll be alright. Tomorrow, we'll get to dip in this. Um, like I said, tomorrow's my birthday. So the wife is going to be doing the rice and beans. We'll do this later in the day. I'll get the video hopefully posted. Um, I would say later afternoon, late evening, probably. Um, so, you know, not too long after getting done. Uh, we'll be doing the, do, doing, wow. We'll be doing the dipping in my standard dip tank, which has been this white bucket, this white clear file container. We'll do it in that. Um, trying to think of a way of holding it. I don't want to add, attach clay to the clay in fear of it pulling out. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll attach like I don't know, some wire pieces or something like that and try to do a handle that way. That or maybe just hold on to these end pieces that got the clay exposed out and go ahead and do it that way. We'll see what happens. Um. Other than that, that's about it. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. And we'll get this job pretty much done. We will be, oh, that's another thing. We'll be doing it in our kitchen. So, you guys will get to see our kitchen. Um, it'll be a different angle, of course. But with those essentially being out of commission because it's leaking really bad. We got a bad leak there. And the sink in my downstairs bathroom just being too shallow. We're doing the kitchen so I have access to a sink that's deep enough to rinse this off after I dip it. Um, we're going to do it upstairs. So, yeah. Different angle. You get to see part of our house. Fun, right? Alright guys, but that's all for tonight. And as always, have fun. Be safe. But do what you love. Take care, guys. See you guys tomorrow.